Um, as I say, US lawmakers then preparing to vote on a deal hammered out between the White House and Republicans. Uh, Jonathan Davis is a wealth manager here in the UK who's concerned about the impact on the global economy. Jonathan, hello to you. Hi, Tony. First of all, what, what, what may be the impact on the global economy, assuming now this deal is done and the votes are passed? Oh, um, the economy will uh, breathe a sigh of relief and um, carry on its merry way. But that doesn't mean anything's better. It's, in fact, a great deal worse. There's not $2.5 trillion of cuts here. They've increased the debt ceiling by $2.5 trillion, which means that Obama gets to borrow even more and uh, for further put the US into total debt stuck. Yeah, I mean, the debt ceiling's risen and risen, hasn't it, over the past few years? But, over but, the past but, but, 65 well, years, Well, it has, yes. yeah, it has. And, uh, in fact, yeah, as you probably know, it's risen 78 times since 1960. So arguably this isn't anything uh, remarkably new today. But but what what is remarkably new is certainly the Republicans saying that the country has changed fundamentally. They're now going to start to balance their budget. So this is a good thing, finally. Well, if if you call um, an economy which has... Um, a, an annual deficit of over three trillion dollars, um, taking on more borrowings of two and a half trillion dollars, balancing the budget. Um, well, that's not how. Um, well, what should they have done, Jonathan? They they say they are now beginning to address the underlying debt. What 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 do you say they should have done instead? Um, I, I, I will say that there's no doubt that the politics in the United States has changed in the last year or so slightly. They have started the multi-year process of reducing spending and uh, balancing the budget, but it'll take years and years to get there. What do I think they should have done? Well, I think they should not have raised the debt ceiling. Um, I think they should have got their economic house in order, and uh, instead of spending wantonly on uh, their, uh, their favourite programmes and their wars across the world and homeland security, which is, to my, to my uh, view, just uh, a reduction in civil liberties, um, they, they should have balanced the books or yeah. aimed towards balancing the books and started to get the US economy and therefore the global economy back on track this way I can tell you Tony we're in a 20 year depression you cannot get out of debt by taking on more debt Jonathan, I've been saying this for years what'll be, what'll be interesting for you is the front page of the Times in the morning huge picture of England winning the test against uh, India but beneath that the main headline the humbling of America trillion dollar debt deal marks end of an era uh, for the US and of course Jonathan where do you stand on blame here because there's a bipartisan solution here that they're, they're, they're rallying together but of course presumably blame is bipartisan because Obama's been spending um, himself but also George W Bush you know 1.6 yeah. trillion yeah. in tax cuts the Republicans yeah. uh, breathtaking hypocrisy yeah. some people would say today yeah, yeah. no uh, absolutely I mean it, it, whatever side you know it's the same in the United Kingdom I, I know the politicians say that there's a grand canyon between Labour and the Lib Dems and Tories. As far as I'm concerned there is a piece of, there's a wafer thin difference between them because their whole idea is about continuing the, the, the pretense that the economy has some fundamental strength. There is no fundamental strength in the West in the Western economies. We have got debts up to here in our households, bad debts held by banks and vast debts held by governments. Um, it, it, we are continuing to extend and pretend and we yeah. need to change our economics so I, and our politics right. in order to start moving forward. But that's otherwise, Jonathan. otherwise we are in a 20-year depression. But, but, Jonathan, that's exactly what they're saying they are doing. I watched the Republicans no. all step up... Hang on. Oh, they all stepped up to the microphone tonight to, to talk about... Hang on, hang on one sec. How the federal government were beginning now, finally after years of, of, of spending, to balance their budgets yeah. like householders. There's let, householders let, let, in America me, demand. Let me quote you, a senator, as well. The fact that we're here today to debate raising America's debt limit is a sign of leadership failure. Who said that? In 2006. I know who said senator it, Senator yeah. Barack Obama. I know. My point being, there is no major change. There is the sliver, the first sliver of change, and I'm so hoping that Cameron Clegg and Osborne get the 
message that there is a sea change going on in politics. Do you know what? Across Europe, there is practically not a socialist government any longer because the people have realized you cannot promise and then borrow to keep your promises because the banks will not allow it. You know, what we have is Keynesian okay. economics. All right. But at the same time, Jonathan, on the on the other side on the other side of, of, of the coin, you know, you can't keep but you can't keep refusing to raise taxes because at some point you need to increase that revenue, don't you? Um, what you need to do is reduce the cost of living and the cost of imports into your economy, and you do that by raising the value of your currency. If we reduce the cost of living, not only does it immediately help every single household in this country, but it helps every manufacturer. Okay. All right. and, what, what you keep... It's amazing. I'm trying to make a point here. I th I th you've made it. You've made it very well, Jonathan. You've had 10 minutes making that point, so well done. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. That's Jonathan Davies there, uh, a wealth manager in the UK who's concerned about the impact on the global economy. How are you concerned about this vote that's taking place in America tonight? 85058 if you want to...